Hey there, this is the one boom and welcome to I Need a Weapon. In this series, you guys leave me classes down in the comment section below and I use them and I review them on a scale of 1 to 10. Enjoy the video. So today our class comes from Switchels, I hope I'm saying your name right, and he recommended me a Weevil class. He uses this primarily for domination and it is a Weevil class with foregrip, Quick Draw and Rapid Fire. For perks, Tier 1, Flag Jacket, Tier 2, Fast Hands, and Tier 3, Tack Mask, and Blast Suppressor. Let's get that off the screen. So there's a lot of talk about the good old Shadow of Weevil, and there's a lot of people that think that it just shouldn't be in the game, it's broken, it needs to be buffed, it's, it's bad, it's useless, there's no niche for it, and some people think it's OP. In the past, I've tweeted about some pretty awesome games I've had with the Weevil, and I've said things like it's OP and whatever, but that's... That's totally a joke. The, the Weevil isn't OP, but it's not the worst gun in the game. I don't think it needs a buff, and I definitely don't think it needs a nerf. It's a solid SMG. It doesn't have the best damage or range, but it has a, a, you know, a good sized magazine, decent hip fire. It's just a decent SMG. And if it was buffed anymore, I think it'd be overpowered. If it had long range and high damage, that'd be ridiculous. I don't think you know those are the right answers. When it's already extremely accurate and has uh, again, 50 bullets, and so you have 50 bullets and something that allows you to move really quickly and be accurate. And, oh man, it's just a, it's a solid gun. And so assuming that it needs a ner nerf or a buff is ridiculous. I think it's fine where it is. It's not going to outperform everything, but it's not un outperformed by everything. So that's my two cents about the Weevil. I think it's a solid SMG, but let's get into the class a little bit. So the class consists of Flak Jacket, Fast Hands, Tack Mask and Blast Suppressor. I think Tack Mask and Blast Suppressor are my only two crutch perks in the game. I love them. I hate being concussioned and I hate showing up on the minimap when I try to get into a building or over a wall. I want to be able to move quickly and quietly. And Blast Suppressor allows me to do that and task and Tack Mask allows me to not be hit by concussion grenades because otherwise I get hit by a lot of concussion grenades. So those are two solid perks. Adds a lot of versatility and resistance to your class. And then also, you have Fast Hands, so I I don't find Fast Hands to be that useful on SMGs, especially when you have Quick Draw already, I, I don't find it to be extremely useful, especially since you're not fully utilizing that perk by having a lethal, uh, lethal, a lethal or tactical. Now, if you would have gotten rid of the Rapid Fire attachment and gone with a lethal and tactical, then yes, Fast Hands would be a must have for me. But I don't think Fast Hands is being utilized here for what it's supposed to do. That's kind of my rule of thumb. If I'm just using a weapon, especially if it has Quick Draw, if I don't have a secondary, lethal, or tactical, I'm not going to use Fast Hands that underutilizes the perk, and I'd rather go with something like Scavenger or Tracker. Flat Jacket's good, it adds just another ounce of resistance to your class. I maybe would have gone with Ghost for this, but if you're trying to secure a hard point or flag in domination, which he says actually in the comment that he does use this for domination a lot, I can see Flag Jacket being very useful. So, not a bad choice there. And now we have to get into the attachments. Rapid Fire on the Weevil is heavily debated. I see it uh, debated on Twitter all the time. I have people, two people talking about how the Weevil's bad. Now you just need to try it with Rapid Fire. I don't necessarily like it with Rapid Fire. My favorite attachments on the Weevil are probably Foregrip and Fast Mags. Anything else just doesn't seem right. Maybe I bumped the range out a little bit because the range on the Weevil is ridiculously low. I mean, the, where you get a 5-shot kill is, is is pretty shocking to me. So I'd maybe put an extended mag on that just to maybe extend that 4-shot kill a little bit. But Rapid Fire doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, the gameplay you're seeing, the Gold Weevil gameplay on Stronghold, is without rapid fire and the black and red weevil gameplay on um whatever the floaty fucking map is the with the rocks and shit yeah you know what i'm talking about um that has rapid fire and i didn't really dig the rapid fire I, it didn't add or take away anything from the class it seemed like i wasted two perk points where i could have made the gun a little bit more versatile by adding on fast mags or red dot sight or something else uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of use to that i definitely would have gone with probably uh, lethal or tactical if I did get rid of rapid fire which I would actually get rid of rapid fire because it just doesn't seem to do anything on the weevil for me so let's summarize this class it works the perk setup is good it's not fully utilized but it's good it's a it's a little bit aggressive it's a little bit resistant and it's a little bit stealthy those are three very good things 
always good to have the most versatility from your perks, as long as you're getting the most work out of your perks. Rapid Fire could definitely been traded out to make fast hands more useful with a lethal and tactical, and that's why your class gets an 8 out of 10. It's solid, it works, it makes the Weevil work for how it's, I think it should be, which is a more defensive role and for securing flags and stuff. You know, that's that's great for the Weevil. I, I think that's the Weevil's strong point, is locking down a location with that huge magazine. Rapid Fire doesn't add anything to me. Rapid Fire to me just kind of takes away two, pro two points I could have used to get a piece of C4 or two EMP grenades or something along those lines. So your class gets an 8 out of 10. It's solid and it works, but I'd like to see somebody else recommend some Weevil classes. I'm not promising that I'm going to use the Weevil, and like for another episode of I Need a Weapon for a while, because you guys probably don't want to see two Weevil classes on I Need a Weapon. But at the same time, I want to try them out. I want you guys to let me know how you guys make the Weevil work, and let me know if you don't like the Weevil and why. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys leave me classes down in the comment section below. They don't have to be Weevil classes, but any classes recommended for you to leave down there. And yeah, I mean, I mean, outros suck. I don't really know what I'm supposed to tell you guys to subscribe. If you like the video, you're going to do that anyway. I mean, you could. Go for it. If you've already subscribed, then thanks for coming back and watching my video. If you've stayed this long, then thanks for coming back and watching this video. Anyway, I'm going to go take a nap. I'm pretty tired. I'll see you when I see ya. And don't forget to leave me classes. Goodbye! When people say that the Weevil should be buffed, I'm just picturing like this three-shot kill... High rate of fire, high accuracy, super long range, 50 round SMG. I'm just that's just all I picture when I think of buff the weevil. It's just stupid. Not every gun needs to kill in three to four shots. Some guns need a little bit lower damage to compensate for more interesting styles of play. I dropped the Lego figure that I fiddle with. Go do something else. Stop watching this.